I'm Dr. Lauren Siff from the Division of Urogynecology at the Cleveland Clinic, and I'm excited to share with you a new curriculum using interactive holographic technology to innovate the way we teach surgical anatomy of the pelvic floor. Now the biggest challenge of teaching pelvic floor surgery is really developing an understanding of the spatial anatomy, the way that the pelvic musculature, ligamentous supports, and neurovascular structures interact with each other in space. This is quite challenging for any surgeon to teach during a case in the operating room, but arguably an even more daunting task for the trainee to learn prior to entering the operating room on their own at home the night before. So we've created two three-dimensional modules that go through the uterosacral ligament suspension and sacrospinous ligament fixation. There are some transparent lenses here. You're not closed off from your surrounding reality. It's an augmented reality where we can interject spatial sound, holograms, and mixed media so that I can interact with the digital content. Throughout this, you'll see me freely moving around the model, and you'll also see exactly what I'm seeing through the headset projected onto the screen. A 62-year-old, post-operative day number four, status post-total vaginal hysterectomy, uterosacral ligament call popexy, presents to the emergency department with right flank pain, fever, and nausea, so the emergency department physician obtains a CT abdomen pelvis and calls you with the results of right hydronephrosis slash hydroureter, what do you think happened and when? Identify the following structures on the model. The first question is to identify the ischial spine. So I here look into the pelvis and find the ischial spine marked with the blue arrow and I follow that arrow out to its box. Yes, well done, ureter. Yes, well done. What is the most common complication of uterosacral ligament called popexy? Ureteral injury. Watch this video to review the correct answer. So you can appreciate that the video is right here next to our model so that you could back and forth review your concepts. Choose the colored zone that corresponds to ideal suture placement. The ureter is closest to the pink zone. The rectum is closest to the red zone. So our green zone in the midline is the one with the greatest safety zone with both the ureter and rectum at safe distances. Well done. In what direction would you place the suture? Speak the color of the correct arrow. When we're placing sutures, our area of maximal control is the entry point. So we're going to put our entry point from lateral to medial as that's going to be closest to the ureter. So I'm going to choose the arrow from lateral to medial or the red. If you were to kink the ureter with one of the three sutures, which one is the most likely culprit? The distal suture is the one very close to the ureter and that would be the one to transiently obstruct the ureter. Yes, well done. You are performing cystoscopy at the end of the procedure and do not see flow from the ureter. To the right are the steps in the algorithm for ureteral assessment. Put them in the correct order. Here we have urethra, vagina, and rectum. I'm going to put the Bryski retractor through the vagina and retract the rectum medially. And then I'm going to use my long allis clamp to grab into the middle of the uterosacral ligament at that location we discussed previously and pull traction to keep it away from the lateral structures like the ureter and nerves that you can see here. And that's going to be where we're going to place our sutures. You are in the OR and you complete final suture placement using suture delivery device for sacrospinous ligament fixation. When the vagina begins to fill rapidly with blood, you place packing, apply pressure and think about what could have gone wrong. Let's evaluate the vasculature surrounding the sacrospinous ligament. Identify the following structures on the model. Sacrospinous ligament. Yes. Pudendal artery. Yes, well done. Watch this video to review this topic. As opposed to module one, module two uses a video that shows exactly our model here. The sacrospinous ligament is a cord like structure lying within the substance of the coccygeus muscle. For suture placement, if it is too close to the ischial spine, the pudendal artery is very vulnerable and bleeding may result. If placed too high, the inferior gluteal artery may be affected resulting in bleeding. 
you have a patient present to the clinic for a one-week post-operative check, complaining of severe shooting pain in the right buttock that radiates down the right leg, let's investigate the neuroanatomy surrounding the sacrospinous ligament, pudendal nerve. Well done, sciatic nerve. Yes, well done. Watch this video to review the material covered in the previous questions. What area of the sacral spinous ligament would be the ideal area for suture placement? Speak the color of the correct area. Red. Yes, well done. For suture placement, if you go too high, the patient will experience numbness or tingling in the labia. If placed too lateral and it hits the sciatic nerve, the patient will have shooting pain down the legs. This will require a return to the operating room. You can use your landmarks as you're, again, doing this blindly. You're touching here on your ischial spine. You're going to go one or two finger breaths medially from the spine so that you're not too lateral and into those neurovascular structures by the ischial spine. And you're going to stay on the bottom half of the ligament, again, avoiding our neurovascular structures above, both of which were covered in our vascular and neural complications. And here we go, we're going to place our suture. So this concludes our use of the modules. You can use this technology in a group setting with a group of learners and an instructor who is able to see what you see through your lens and walk you through the curriculum. Or you could use the technology in a self-directed study as a tool to use the night before preparing for surgery. Every time I put the headset on, I get a different view and a new perspective and it allows me to appreciate an anatomic relationship that I hadn't prior.